What's going on you guys, it's your boy Redstone9x here, welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do fire spell commands in Minecraft, which will, which will allow you to summon fireballs using this trident right here. And this is probably the only item that you're able to summon a fireball with. Now. Before we get into this video guys, as always, make sure you guys hit that like button, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss your video. And also, make sure you share this video with your friends so we can keep this channel growing. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so what I have in front of me is two command blocks which you need, one that are repeating and one that is a chain. So, if you see this on big, those, these are targets. That I'm gonna use for the trident thing, so ignore that for now. But, but I'm just gonna show you how it works first. Yeah, this command you don't have to use. I just used it so I can rename this the fire spell trident. So what this is supposed to do? So every time you throw a trident, it's gonna do this. It will explode on impact. And as you can see, it didn't do that much, because the explosion was set to 1. But, I'm just going to show you how I can amplify it. So where you see here it says explosive power, if we crank that up to 2 or 3, then see the difference between the one that was 1 and this one. See? This one made a bigger boom. So that's saying the higher the explosive power, the bigger the boom. See how this one was much bigger than that one. And now I'm going to show you the commands through this little book. And if you guys are wondering how I managed to summon this fireball right here, um, this is not related to what we're doing right now, but I can show you anyway. Okay, so this is the one for summoning that fireball. The fireball is over there. So if you want to take a moment to pause the video so you can uh, take a look at this command right here, then go ahead and do so. And then I'm going to move on to the one that we're doing right now. Okay, so now on to the other command with the trident. So this is the fire spell command. So in the first command, you need to do slash execute as all entities bracket type equal trident nbt equals a different bracket d and also dealt damage colon 1b another bracket and then the other kind of bracket at s run summon fireball and then put in the command well actually this is just so that it will explode when you throw the trident so don't worry about changing the squig designs and then direction you keep this as it is as you copy and paste and then you put comma and then explosive power and then you can change the number of how big you want it to be and then the second command in that chain command slash kill at e type trident and what that does is that hold on it will get it will make this trident disappear automatically so that you don't have to pick it up so now watch as i demonstrate how i can Hold on, let me set it to two-ish, and how I take out these targets. Bullseye. Right on target. And also, I just found a, a nifty trick before I recorded this video of what else you can do with these trends, so watch what happens. And I'm sure this could be a great way to troll your friends if you're in creative mode, or you have a lot of tridents, so watch this. I'm gonna throw a bunch of tridents. Ooh, 
without picking them up. Okay, so that should be enough tridents. And watch what happens when I turn this command on. When I turn the command on, it's going to detonate those tridents because they're already stuck to a block. So, you can use them as throwable landmines. Whoa, if you like, turn it off first and then throw it down like that. So, watch what happens when I turn it back on. They explode at once. And then the target is completely gone. So again, this could be a great way to blow up a house instantly. So just make an explosive trail. Like so. Kaboom! And yeah. That is pretty much how you do fire spell commands in Minecraft. And that is pretty much going to wrap up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more command block tutorials like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. And make sure you share this video with your friends so we can keep this channel growing. Apart from that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna end this video off with a bang, literally. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!